What's up guys, I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but today I am back and we are installing the Damon Motorsports catch can on my 2016 Focus ST. So like I said, this is a 2016. I assume this is gonna be the same for all model years of the ST. This installs a little bit of a process, you kinda have to pull a few things out to get it in, so I'm just gonna start. I have Brendan here with me. He brought his, uh, there he is in the background. He brought his Camaro out. If you guys have not seen his YouTube channel, make sure to go check that out. It'll be linked down in the description and you can check out his video over his Camaro. He's gonna be making more videos here soon also. So let's get right into this install. Uh, we're gonna start by, actually I don't know what to do first. I'm gonna look it up online. So I was just looking at the forum on Damon Motorsports and it looks like we we're supposed to disconnect the battery first. I don't have an engine cover installed right now so that would be the first step is to pull the engine cover and then I'm gonna disconnect the battery real quick. All right, so the next step is to loosen the clamp holding the uh, charge pipe onto the throttle body, which is right down here. All right, so this clamp is a seven millimeter. So now we need to get under the car and pull down on the charge pipe to just get it off the throttle body. I'm gonna try to just do this without uh, jacking up the car or anything since I don't have an under tray on. If you guys still have the under tray on, you're gonna have to pop that off, which jacking it up will be the easiest way to do that. And then pull down on the charge pipe. So I'm gonna try to do that real quick. And we'll see what happens. Right here, yeah, yeah, that's it. Is that off the throttle body? Yeah. Okay, so I just disconnected the throttle body sensor cable. You kind of have to like get underneath. We ended up jacking up the car a little bit and it's really hard to show. Uh, I'm gonna link this document in the description. This is the like guide to how to install this and it has like good pictures so you guys can see like the throttle body. This is the underside of it and everything. So it's kind of hard to get to, um, but I was able to reach in there and get it. So my hands are really dirty now and we're getting closer to having this installed. So the next step, is to unclip this evap line right here and then we need to remove these five bolts that hold on the intake manifold all right so i thought these bolts were 12 but they're actually 10 millimeter uh so yeah just a correction i was just guessing i'm guessing on all the sizes and i'll let you guys know what size it actually is when i figure it out my banana bread at work bro <laughs> hell yeah dude <laughs> Not getting paid as much when you work? Hell no, dude. Okay guys, so there was this connector. I don't know, can you guys see that right there? So this was connected up onto the manifold under here and it had to slide out. You can see it's got like two grooves on it where it slides in. So I, slid it, I slid that out. Now the manifold can be kind of pulled back like this. And the next step is to disconnect the PCV hose from the intake manifold. And that PCV hose is down underneath the manifold and it's kind of on the back of the throttle body. And it's kind of hard to get to. Okay, so I just pulled the PCV hose off. I don't know if you can see that. So the PC, this is the PCV hose that I'm holding. Here, I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah, you guys can't, oh, you can't see that. Okay, so right here where my thumb is at and my fingers, that's the PCV hose that just got disconnected from the back of the throttle body under here. Okay guys, so I have the oil, the catch can in place. It's not uh, installed yet or like bolted in or anything, but I have the lines connected to the PCV valve um, on the back side of the intake manifold. You guys saw that earlier, so. Now, the next step is to slide that connector that we slid off earlier back onto the manifold, and I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. It's kind of, 
gonna stretch now with the new hoses in the way. All right guys, so I'm bolting the manifold back up to the head. All we did previously was just connect the connector back on to that little thing that it slides off of. And I also connected up the catch can to the PCV valves. So now I'm just putting these bolts back in. I'm using power tools, which makes it way easier. But I'm also being gentle, making sure everything's lined up and all that. So uh, we got two bolts on the outside we gotta get. And then we got one more on the middle part that we gotta get it installed. And the manifold will be back onto the car. So now we need to connect the throttle body connector back up, which is down in here somewhere. Probably have to get underneath and find it. So I got that connector reconnected for the throttle body. And I believe the next step is to the inner cooler tubing. All right, uh, so the next step is put the inner cooler tubing back onto the throttle body. So I'm gonna connect that from underneath. And we will tighten it up top. We are almost done. This wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be worse, honestly. It's just a lot of steps to get, you get to pull so much stuff out. But I think we're doing okay. This is probably 30 minutes so far, four or five minutes. Okay, so the last step is to use the provided bolt that they give you and to mount. So I've already got the mount, uh, on the catch can right here. And this bolt, I don't know how these are supposed to bend, if they are supposed to bend. But this is supposed to sit right over here. The bolt isn't lined up right. Okay, that is a 10 mil. So something I forgot to mention about this kit, in order to put this in this location, you have to have the sound supposer delete. Um, I have a Boomba sound supposer delete, and basically the only reason is because it uses the mounting location for the sound supposer tube uh, to mount the catch can right here. So that's why. So if you guys are buying this for the look, they have two options for location on the stage one kit. Uh, this is the location one option, which is right here. Location two puts it back here. And if you guys are buying the location one, you just want to make sure to uh, purchase a sound supposer delete, or if you already have one, then you should be fine. So that's a tip of information that you guys should probably know. And all that stuff is on their website. They kind of explain it and make sure that you're getting what you want and stuff, and that you have all the stuff that you need. So, but other than that, and this connector just being all floppy back here, I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so. Other than that, the catch can is now mounted in the car, and everything else is on here. The intake manifold is firm. These, I mean, all of this stuff looks good. These hoses, make sure they're good. The hoses are connected up and everything, so I think it's time that we start up the car and see how this runs. So I'm gonna grab all my tools and put the car back on the ground and connect the battery back up also. Probably a good idea. All right, guys, we got the cash can all installed. I'm going to try to start up the car now, and I'm really hoping this is going to go well. So let me jump in and start it up and see what happens. All right, so as you guys saw, the car started up and it seems to be running fine. I'm gonna take it for a quick drive and make sure that I'm getting full boost and everything. If you guys have any questions about the catch can install or you guys want another video explaining some more details like how often I'm gonna empty this and what it does or anything like that, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video you have watched, make sure to subscribe and also leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.